Okay, in this video, we're doing integer subtraction. This is the first problem type. So we're asked to subtract two integers. Uh, since we're doing integers, we have the possibility of signs. So first, I'm going to redo. I'm going to review the rules for addition. Uh, since this is a subtraction problem, why am I reviewing the rules of addition? Uh, we will explain in just a moment. So first of all, the rules for integer addition are that when the signs are the same, we are to add and keep the sign. And the other possibility is that when the signs are different, we are to subtract the numbers. And since we got different signs, we have to choose which one to keep. We keep the sign of the larger. Okay, so these are the rules for addition, but we're given subtraction. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn our subtraction problems into addition problems. And then we will be able to use the addition rules that I've got written up here. So the first problem, 2 minus 6. The question is, how do I use, how do I turn this subtraction into an addition problem? And a lot of you have heard this kind of catchphrase of keep, change, change, which in three words tells you what we need to do. Uh, the first keep means that we keep the first number just as it is. If it was a 2, it's still going to be a 2. If it was positive, it's still positive. That's the keep part. Then the next thing says change. We actually change the operation. So this is going to go from being a subtraction problem. It's going to turn into an addition problem. So we have changed subtraction into addition. And then the last thing is we change the sign on that last number. So instead of this being 2 minus a regular or a positive 6, we're going to turn it into a negative 6. So we kept the first sign, we changed the operation to addition, and we changed that last sign from a positive 6 into a negative 6. And now we have an addition problem, so we get to use those addition rules that we learned for addition of integers. So 2 plus negative 6, we have different signs. The 2 is positive and the 6 is negative, so different signs. My second part of the rule here says that when the signs are different, I need to subtract. So I'm going to subtract the 2 and the 6, and that gives me 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. Notice I'm not even worrying about the signs at that step, because that comes in for the second part. The rule is, for the second part, when the signs are different, subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. Now, since we're doing this problem, the larger number is the 6, and it is negative. So we need to keep that sign, negative 4. So we turned our subtraction problem here into an addition problem, and then we used the rules for addition to find our solution. So the top one, negative 4, and now for the second problem, it's also a subtraction problem. It is negative 6 minus 2. We're going to go through the same procedure. Keep that first number the same. So it was negative 6. It's still negative 6. That's my keep. Then change the operation from subtraction to addition. So that becomes plus. And then finally, change the sign of the last number. So instead of being minus a regular 2, we're now going to have a negative 
to. That's changing the last sign. So we now have an addition problem. I can use my rules for addition. And the rules are that when the signs are the same, the top part, in this case, negative and negative, we add the digits, 6 and 2. When we add those, we get 8. And we keep the sign. So both of them are negative. We keep the negative, negative 8. So that's negative 6 minus 2, negative 8. 